Well, hello. Well, first off, I just want to say thank you to everyone who uh, commented on yesterday's video uh, in the funk. Uh, there was some great, I got an itchy nose. There were some great comments, and uh, it was really awesome, all of you that commented back. So instead of just going in and typing responses and saying, hey, thanks, blah, 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 I thought what I would do, since all of you were so nice and, and commented, and some really good comments and suggestions, that I would do a video response comment back to all of you. So this may take some time, but... I thought I'd respond to it, and I may not read all your comment, but, you know, I'll get to the main part of each one of it. So, bear with me. We're going to go through each one of these. So, uh, Bella, 1990, or uh, 1900, said, uh, when things, things that have helped me is laughing with friends, being social, enjoying arts, whether listening to music or, you know, visiting local museums and arts. That is a great suggestion. I mean, I've been to an art museum in a long time, and it's obvious that, you know, I'm kind of in the arts. So, that's a good suggestion. Uh, Yoga by Kate says, Hey Steve, I do spring forest qigong barefoot on the beach at sunset. That's, that's a great idea, you know. And that's, that's, you know, that's one thing I haven't done. I really haven't explored and done a lot of qigong uh, on this whole raw food vegan journey. Uh, you know, that's something I should do. And, you know, I, I do have a black sash and tai chi. So, you know, I need to start practicing my tai chi again. So, I said getting at least, you know, 20, 30 minutes of sun without sunscreen also helps me. You know, yeah, you're right. You know, love the sun. So, Sprouts to Go says, fake it till you make it. You had to go, you reached it, it seems you've lost your way, so you need to get really revved up for your new goal. You're right, man. New things, get inspired, take a raw class. That's, that's a good idea, but, you know, there's a lot of, lot of, whole, lot of raw classes in uh, Oklahoma, especially in Chickasha, Oklahoma. You know, maybe I can put one on myself. That might be a good idea. Um... The Medina 77 said, uh, music, it relaxes the mind when I'm feeling funky. Also to vent. Pfft. Yeah, been venting. And uh, thank you all my friends that I've been venting to. So, and some of you know really all the stuff that happened. So, uh, but yeah, music's awesome. Been doing that. And really, you know, really cranking out the music. Uh... M.O. Vegan Gal says, road trip. That's what I do. Treat myself a relaxing trip. Soak in nature, favorite trails, special outdoor places, breathe the fresh air, feel the wind. Yeah. I uh, I would really love to go to the mountains this weekend. It's Labor Day. Was it Labor Day weekend this weekend? Um, but, you know, the mountains are going to be covered with people down there. But I might Sunday... Uh, fix my flat on my bicycle and go down there and go for a bike ride. Um, GF Vegan Life, you probably know this. <laughs> you probably know this, but still it doesn't hurt to say so. So, thank you GF Vegan Life. Do a 10 day fast. She also says, do a 10-day fast, snap you back in. That's, you know, I am going to do probably a 10-day all-juice fast to start off my new journey. Uh, Tina Wiener says, uh, exercise, dance to Funky Town. You know, over the years, Funky Town has become kind of like a boring song to me. It's, you know, maybe I need to find like a techno, uh... Uh, what's it called? Uh, techno, uh, what's the music where, you know, they're like moving all freaky weird to it? Um, oh, God, I can't believe I've forgotten the name of that music. Um, it's where the music's like, that copy of music. Oh, God, what is the name of that? It'll, it'll come to me here in a few, few minutes. But, uh, yeah, but Teeny Reiner, you, you had some other suggestions that we talked about on the phone, and, uh, that's, that sounds like a good plan. So, Homebrew77 says, The ocean, it helps to breathe. <sighs> I'm in Oklahoma, there's no oceans. In fact, there's 
there's no water right now either because we're not extremed out. Uh, Triple Three J Moore says, I walk on the beach, let my feet touch the surf. Something slow and rhythmic about crashing the caves is smooth. <laughs> crashing on the waves is smooth my soul. Well, you know, that sounds very nice and uh, wouldn't mind coming and walking on the beach with you. So, Tink McCarthy says, If you didn't notice, I'm a pretty aggressive guy. When I'm in a funk, I hit something. Heavy bag, speed bag, drums. I never hit people. Dude, what's the fun in that? What if, what if it's people that really need to be hit, like maybe Chris Brown or Jerry Sandusky or, you know, Russell Brand? Yeah, I said Russell Brand because he's not funny and he broke Perry, Katy Perry's heart, so... Um... Also helps to relieve re stress. Relieving pent up aggression usually helps. <laughs> you know, there's no doubt that I'm pent up. <laughs> uh, Ellen also says, Steve, allow yourself to grieve. A breakup makes you feel robbed of part of yourself. Someone has robbed you. Just like if somebody has robbed you and your possessions. Oh, that's good. Then allow yourself to get angry. <laughs> yeah, Steve Crowder needs to be angry a little more. <laughs> and anyway, the lifestyle you've awarded. You have a lot of self-esteem. And you say, I dare a person mess with your one-year milestone. No kidding. Just tell yourself, you, whoo, you really dodged the bow. Bo bullet by getting out of that relationship. Play it like a paper quarter over in your brain. Or you know, that, that is great. And you know what? Ellen, that's one thing I've forgotten. That's one thing I've forgotten. I'm 140 pounds. Okay, 130 pounds. Okay, 125 pounds lighter now. And I'm single again. So, yeah, baby. Yeah, like I need to go and jump right back into another relationship. So, Mega one one zero 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 zero. Uh, do some sunbathing and get to get out of your funk. Yeah, the sun is always great. Greg M D. Greg N N D says, "Good question. I've been in a funk since I broke my rib last December." Greg, I'm sorry, dude. That's terrible, and I'm so sorry. Uh, broken ribs suck and they hurt, and I've had a few with my fighting martial arts stuff over the years, so, dude, <clears throat> you need to go start running again, so, and then how you did it, running, you fell on the ice, or, yeah, I think you fell on ice, yeah, so, see, I pay attention to people, so, but I feel your pain, Greg, um, Home Movies 1961 says, thanks for being real, Steve, well, I've tried to be nothing but real, and honest, and upfront, and, you know, telling my story, sharing my journey with all of you. So, I find myself in a funk. I find it really difficult to do anything. No kidding. Jeez. But comedies do lift my spirits and get me out of the funk to reset. I love Jennison, Jennifer Addison films. Good, Just go with it. You know, I've never really been a fan of Jennifer Addison. I, I just... I don't get it. You know, I'm, I know you love her films, but I just, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't think she's, I mean, she, to me, Jennifer Aniston is ordinary looking. There's just, I, I don't know, maybe that's the appeal, because she's just so ordinary looking, you know, but she just, I, I, she doesn't do anything for me. So, you know, find some reruns of Frasier. How about find some reruns of Night Court? You guys remember Night Court? I miss Night Court. I'm surprised they haven't remade that into a freaking movie yet, since, you know, um, Hollywood's so original nowadays. Uh, Kathleen Kelly says, I've been in a really bad funk since I lost my best friend. Um, that's really sad, and I'm sorry for your loss. Um, and I ended up back on food. God, it's so easy to get back on food. I've been watching Steve Kreider videos. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? That might make you even more depressed, Kathleen. I'm just kidding. You don't want to overload yourself on Steve Kreider, you know? She went back to the first one, and wow, you've come a long way. Thank you, 
Kathleen. That's that's really sweet and nice that you said that. And yes, I will get back on the juice. I've had some carrot juice tomorrow, and I'm gonna freaking. Uh, I think I might do it like a Gershon thing in the next couple of days. So, uh, Texa forty one says I masturbate. <sighs> okay, really? You know, I think I need to love myself, not love myself, love myself. So, and. Uh, What's with the four pervs that thumbs up that comment? So, uh, Bri Cole 77 says, Steve, do you have a lot of male friends? Now, well, a lot of them moved away. Stefan's my male friend. <laughs> uh, maybe you should do some uh, bro time. Get out with the dudes, go camp, and start a fire with some sticks. Try to catch a wild animal with your bare hands. And that's not very vegan. But, yeah, that, that sounds like a fun thing. Um, you know, do whatever dudes do. Yeah, well, I miss my dude. That's that's what I should do is I should go see Jeff in, in, in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Because we used to do dude stuff all the time. <laughs> that's a whole other video and story. <sighs> Hang in there. Oh, uh, my first romance. My first romance. <clears throat> Says, hang in there, Steve. This will pass. September brings new beginnings for lots of us. We've all traveled the path together. Yeah. September. New whole month. I've lost another one. So, you know, it's like a whole new journey begins. And, hey, my first romance. I'll be watching you, too. Um, BBBG LMK says... Steve, what I do when I'm in a funk is I waller for a day, then reflect of how far I've come on my weight loss journey, then I reflect how far I have come mentally, physically, and I journal all the truths. It's not easy, but I always try to let others... I, I, I also try hard not to let others take advantage of me and drain my energy. Oh, yeah, you know what? People... People do drain your energy, and <clears throat> it's really wild. Yeah, you know, like how you're talking to somebody, and you're, you're talking to your friends on Skype, and it's just like it—it it, it can be very draining. And I'm sure I'm a draining person on other people too. So you know, um, thank you for that. Yeah, and I will keep moving forward. So uh, always, Tana. Good to see you back, Tana. Um, says, "Hang in there, Steve. I know how you feel. Spend some time with your daughters. It's a great antidepressant." Good luck, my friend. Yeah, I would love to spend some time with my daughters, but you know what? 17-year-olds, <laughs> you know how they can be. Depends on their mood. But yeah, I do need to see the kids. It's been a while since. You know what? It's kind of depressing because my freaking kids haven't been to the new house yet. And that's another thing I need to do. I need to take you guys on a tour of the house. I'm just not sure if it's Steve or Stefan that should give you the tour. So, because I don't want to offend anybody out there. Every time I make a... Stefan joke or something, someone gets all twisted because, you know, nobody can laugh anymore. Everybody's got to be so politically correct. Uh, Starcat70. Um, <laughs> she knows why I did that. <laughs> when I get blue funk, I listen to music and drive. Ride my bike. Favorite destinations in Oklahoma where I live is those same mountains you mentioned. Yes, they are awesome. So, it does wonder for the soul. It's always good to take a road trip. Take care. Thank you, uh, Star Cat. And yeah, you know what? I, I, the more I talk about it in this video, I think I do need to go down there and sit on the mountain. And, you know, just even if I just go for a drive. I, I, I really need to fix my bike tire. Because I haven't ridden my bike in a long time. So, um, she's saved, says... Uh, Dance like nobody is watching. Well, the, my favorite time to dance is to dance naked. So I would certainly hope no one was watching. So, yeah, thank you. Um, did I skip a page here? No, I didn't. Fat woman goes raw. I've been watching you. I haven't, don't comment all the time, but I've been watching you. Talk to a friend. New adventures, new journeys, new spaces. It always helps me. New territory, even if it's not necessarily a new place, but new beginnings. Get interested in something that takes you away. 
and don't forget to wallow in the pain and feel it. Then you can move on. Just remember, Steve, all things will come and pass. Time is a great healer. <laughs> yeah, it is. And thank you for that. And uh, you know what? Some new territory, some new journeys. That's that's upcoming. So, demon, my monkey's demon uh, says, try some holy basil tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the reason why I find that funny is somebody that's called themselves Monkey's Demons suggested something holy. So, I don't know what holy basil tea is, but uh, I'll, I'll check into that. Yeah, teas are good. Herbs are good. Herbs are good. <laughs> Not herbs are good. So, I would juice some... Yeah, anyways, that's another video, too. So, uh, Yetta... Yetta for Madison... <clears throat> says, I'm a wild, cool, crazy, or, I'm a wild, crazy, cool Jesus follower. I go to my secret place, volunteer my time and love to others, pray, praise and worship music, love Jesus culture. I've watched throughout my life and found that when I get into a funk, I find myself thinking st crazy, stupid, untrue stuff. Oh, well, that's true, and then she starts binge eating, so yeah, you know what, and that's, that's another part of my journey that, you know, I really haven't, you know, the spirit, you know, you know, my, my logo, my shirt says, you know, mind, body, and soul, you know, I need to work, do some soul work, you know, so I think you're right, I need to find a church, or a place of worship, or, you know, and start doing that a little more, so I can be a more complete, more rounded person, that's what the whole circular thing is, so. Anyways, that's another video. So, <clears throat> crochet all day kind of went a little crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we should get on there. <laughs> Pull your head out of your ass and uh, put your big girl panties on and you hit a bump in the road. <laughs> then she says, uh, you're an appreciation of the tremendous gift you are working hard on. Challenge yourself with something. H. Hard. Maybe. It's an H. Challenge yourself with something that you don't normally do. Get off the couch, out of the self-pity pot. Be the do-ru guru we know you can be. Gee, Steve, life sucks sometimes. And then you learn a valuable lesson from it. Finish the projects. <laughs> get off your butt for at least 30 minutes a day and exercise. I think crochet all day is pissed at me. <laughs> you know I love you. Get out there. Man, they really come and tell you I got a new iPad. I can't figure it out. Plus the pain pills. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. That person hurt their wrist and, uh, you know, <laughs> they're pain pill uh, uh, compending on my deal. That's kind of like... Uh, you know, never Facebook and be drunk. Get her done. I hate that comment. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh, she broke her wrist and is having surgery. Get into her most favorite thing, which is crochet. I take my motor home to the Oregon coast and pull out my art supplies and do some work, painting. Do something you can do it. If what I can do with <laughs> do something I can do with one hand. You know what? I'm sorry you broke your wrist. <laughs> sad, so, um, wow, sorry you're on the painkillers, that was a lot of comments right there in a row, uh, California Page says, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, you know what, that would be fun is to, you know, when we were kids, uh, there's a river near here called the Wichita River, the Wichita River, and we went to a town 10 miles west of here, and got on that river and canoed 10 miles to Chickasha. It took us three days to get from there to here. Three days! Because that river, river just twisted and cold and spun and, you know, we passed an oil rig, the same oil rig, seven times. It's like, oh, it's on our left, it's on our right, it's on our left, it's on our right. It's amazing how rivers twist and turn. Kind of like our lives. Wow, I just, like, totally pulled a story and worked it into some kind of thing, metaphor, analogy. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having fun doing this. Oh, man. And I'm almost out of comments. Uh, Purple Serenity Mini 91 
jam out on music, dance, watch hilarious movies. Love you, bro. Thank you so much. You know, I, I, you know, I, I need to go watch some hilarious movies. But you know, what? I think I've seen all hilarious movies. So maybe I need to watch Euro Trip again. Euro Trip, one of my favorite all-time movies. Bajorno, excuse, excuse. Love that part. Road trip, baby. Heck yeah, road trip. I think that's coming. Uh, Water Hefner says, hugs to you. You'll be stronger for it. XO. XO. So anyways, let's, let's, let's see. Did I miss something? Did I miss someone? Did I miss anything? Yeah, I got them all. There you go. So, hey. So, yeah, I just made a mess. So, thank you all for all your comments. Um, I really appreciate that. And, you know, I thought it would be just a little more personal for me to do a video response to all your comments. Instead of just, you know, going and typing, oh, thank you, I'll be dead, dead. Because, you know, I'm, that's something, you, I'm sure you guys have noticed that I'm really suck at is returning comments. And, and to be big and successful on YouTube, you're supposed to, you know, reply to every single comment. So I just, you know, reply all and did a video response to you. So it's been very therapeutic. Uh, I do feel really good now. You guys did give some good suggestions. It really did help me. Um, I'm sure I'll be fine until I get alone with my thoughts for five, ten, five or ten damn minutes. But, you know, doing really good. Going to start the new journey. Um, tomorrow I'm going to throw up a video for day one, uh, since it is the first tomorrow. Uh, but it's going to be a little different because I've thought of something, and I've kind of having an epiphany, and it's something I'm going to need your help with think you're going to like it. I think it's going to be interesting and I don't know, just tune in tomorrow. I'm sure everybody's got long extended weekend plans and traveling and whatnot, but I think it's going to be really cool. So tune in tomorrow. I'll probably throw up a quick short little video and then, you know, I'll be back on Monday. So, but I appreciate every one of you. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of those wonderful comments. And again, uh, I'm very appreciative that, you know, people do care. So, thank you very much. I hope this isn't like a 30-minute long video. So, <laughs> everybody have a wonderful, safe weekend. And, oh, somebody said something about swimming. I haven't swam this year either. So, maybe I should go fill up the bathtub and uh, take a sea salt bath. That's good for your soul. So, helps ionize your aura. If you believe in all that hanky stuff. So, anyways, you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. And, again, I appreciate every single comment.